<laughs> exactly, and that's... So let's just make sure it's working here. Yep, okay, wonderful. All right, so uh, we're using a new technology, which is Verify, which basically allows us to give you a bit of a property tour. Um, it's an interactive tool, and um, we have this 3D presentation available on our site, as well as the traditional PDF, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but you can actually go around and spin it around and look at the model and look at the mineralization. So it is, it is quite interactive. It's on our homepage. Um, so I'm going to start the presentation. I'll just point out a couple of things. We did just qualify uh, in Quebec for something called EcoLogo certification, and this is uh, an ESG certification that is offered in conjunction with the Quebec government. There's a number of companies in Quebec that uh, have qualified, and Amex is, is one of them. Um, in terms of shares outstanding, we've got about 100, 100 million shares outstanding, and our market cap is sitting around 200 million. We have, uh, we are basically located in the Abitibi, um, a little bit to the north of, of uh, Carche, um, but our project is right here, which is pretty much dead smack in the middle. To the north of us, we've got uh, Hecla. Here you've got Detour Lake, which is owned by Nico Eagle. You come down to the south, um, you go you, in Kirkland Lake, you get El Dorado, Alamo, Signico Eagle. So you're right in the middle of, of Quebec's uh, mining country, second most prolific belt, uh, gold production belt in the world. Our belt is really known for um, VMS. Uh, there was one VMS mine back in the 70s. It was mined, I believe, for uh, 30 years, and it was a copper rich VMS. So when I say VMS, I mean volcanic massive sulfide, and it usually means that it's uh, got multiple metals. In our case, we have, we have both VMS as well as uh, gold on our, on our property. This is the property package, and um, you can see most of our zones are gold zones. The one, the one VMS zone is the QF zone, which is right here. Um, but the balance of these zones, and sorry, the, there's also the central polymetallic is also a VMS. Uh, but the balance of the zones are, are orogenic gold, um, and they are, they are basically scattered throughout the property. The property package is about 45 square kilometers. Most of the gold that we found is within this wedge. Um, and so you can see here the wedge. These are the two faults that sort of bound it and control um, where we're finding all of our gold mineralization. So this year, we're going to be doing some more exploring here. So the road, kind of our access road, ends here, which is basically why we haven't found much in the way of gold zones to the west. This year, we've got a program where we're going to be going out and doing exploration along this fault through here. We've also identified a bit of a gold trend here in some of our recent drilling, so we're going to be going back in to do some additional drilling in that area um, because we think there's, uh, there's quite a bit of visible gold there. We just need to understand the system um, to the west. So, so that's going to be part of the exploration program this summer. We're also going to be doing some drilling uh, deeper on Gretchen because we've never really drilled that to any sort of depth, and so we think there's some low-hanging fruit there. We're going to be going over in this section and drilling this area off. This will be about a one kilometer structure. Uh, so we'll be doing some drilling there. And then we're going to have two drills, which will be focused on the team zone. So this year, we'll put about 80,000 meters into the ground. Uh, we'll spend about $25 million on exploration. Uh, where do I go next? Give you an idea of the amount of drilling we've done so far. We've drilled about 300,000 meters of drilling. Um, the deepest drilling has been on the uh, high-grade zone, which is here, and we've gone down to 1.5 kilometers. So this from end to end here is about 4 kilometers, uh, and we've drilled to a depth just on one zone to 1.5. As I was saying earlier, lots of potential here at depth, as we've never really done much deep drilling um, uh, at, de at depth on this project in this section of the project. Um, and just given what we've seen on the high grade zone, we think there's lots of opportunity elsewhere at depth. Um, I'll take it here, which basically shows you the land package. So now you get a sense of um, the topography. Um, we're basically, it's pretty dry, not a lot of water, pretty flat. 
Um, and so to the west there you have the Gretchen Gold Zone, but then you come all the way across. And to the east you've got the QF and the Team Zone. Give you an idea of where the town is. I can show you that. So the town sits just about here that we operate out of Normatel. Um, so this project is really well serviced by infrastructure, which exists. We don't have to build, which saves you a lot of money if and when um, you're mining this project. Here's the road to the deposits. So that's our, our access road. You come back around and you can see there's the town of Normatel. Here's the hydro line that runs right beside the property. It actually currently provides power to uh, Casa Berardi, Heckless Casa Berardi. Uh, the power comes from this transformation station, which is about five kilometers or so from our deposit. Um, and you can see the town in Normatel is just right there. Um, it's a mining town. This town was built for a mine. Um, the mine has since ceased production, and it's really looking for uh, a new mine. Um, the mayor of this town is actually uh, a mining engineer and works up at Casa Berardi's, uh, Heckless Casa Berardi. So they're very um, supportive of the project. They're certainly keen to see development in the area. Um, for them, it means jobs and jobs that are nearer uh, to their community. Give you an idea, this is our core shed. Basically, it sits right in the middle of town. It's an old curling rink um, that we bought from, from the town and converted into, uh, converted into our short core shack. This is Norma Tal. So as you can see, um, lots, of, lots of space there to uh, expand. And then just further down the road, about 15 minutes away, is the bigger town of Lasar, which is, I think, about 30 to 40,000 people. This is a major commercial uh, town that services this part of Quebec. So in terms of infrastructure, there's a lot of existing infrastructure in place that, um, that will allow you to be able to build a mine without having to have the same sort of capex that you would if you were in a much more remote location. So I'll come back to the, maybe we'll take a quick look at the geology. So this is one of our zones. This is the high grade zone, it's a long section. Anything in pink is better than 50 gram, 50 gram meters. So you can see it's pretty continuous. It starts, uh, the, the, the high grade stuff starts uh, pretty well, I think it's about 70, 70 meters sort of below surface, um, and it continues all the way down to over 1.5 kilometers. Um, as I said, anything in pink is, is super high grade, um, and this would be something that we would envision uh, potentially underground mining. So Amex is gonna be a comb combination of open pit and underground. So we've got to the west, satellite deposits come right to surface, very uh, amenable to open pit. And then as you come east to the eastern gold zone, you've got this high grade zone, but right beside it, you've also got the Denise zone. And Denise is right at surface, it's a lower grade. The type of mineralization that you'd see there is uh, 65 meters of 1.8, uh, 58 meters of 1.8, 189 meters of, of uh, one gram. So it's much wider. Um, as I said, this would be something that you could start mining uh, in an open pit scenario. The interesting thing is because it's proximity to the high grade zone, we may even be able to take the top portion, or at least a portion of the top portion of the high grade zone into the open pit, which would improve the overall grade and economics of a, of a Denise open pit. Uh, another thing I'll show you in terms of metallurgy, we've done metallurgy on the high grade zone, um, and we think the balance of the property should have similar metallurgy. Um, greater than 99% recovery, um, and greater than 75% with just gravity. So it's free gold and it does seem to liberate well. Um, so we're very encouraged by the metallurgy. We'll continue to do more metallurgy on the other zones over the next year or so. We've also started our environmental baseline study, um, which is gonna be important when you get into the PEA and the feasibility study stage, because that's uh, sort of a long lead item. You need a couple of years of of environmental baseline in order, to, in order to do that. So we're starting that now in anticipation of our uh, economic studies. We've also got some new gold discoveries that we've, we've made, which we will do some follow-up on this year. Um, 
the 210 zone, the LAZ zone, the E2 zone, these are all different um, individual gold zones that we've tagged into during our drilling and we have to go back and do some additional follow-up on. The biggest and most exciting of those is the team zone. So this is um, a new discovery this year. Um, we basically uh, discovered it, I'd say, three, four months ago. So we've really started aggressively drilling it, trying to really understand um, the system. Uh, but it is quite a large system. And we're going to put, I think, two drills on this target this year. So we'll be drilling this off quite a bit. The goal as well will be to extend this way. So in this direction, we have the 210 zone, um, which is which potentially connects to the team zone. So some of the drilling that we'll be doing this year will be to test this theory. Do they connect and, and basically to drill off this envelope that we've called the team zone. So the guys are pretty excited. They think it has the potential to add some decent ounces. Um, I mentioned that we had a VMS. And so the VMS sort of sits on the top of the Beaupre block in what we call the Normatel Mine Horizon, which is um, a package of rocks which extends from the Normatel Mine and kind of comes up into our property. Um, we, have this, we have this QF zone. Uh, we've, we've drilled it. We're seeing nice, um, decent copper grades, which if I blow up, you might be able to see. So 2.1% copper, 2.4 uh, copper. So it's a copper-rich system. Um, we did what's called borehole EM, which basically allowed us to identify some plates. We've gone in, we've drilled them, and then we drilled outside the plates, and we also hit additional copper mineralization. So we're going to go back in and probe this again because we think there's a lot of room for expansion here in the uh, VMS system. Um, as well in our recent drilling, and we haven't really talked too, too much about this, but we've had a, um, a second potential VMS discovery, uh, which needs to have some follow-up drilling, and that's going to happen in this, this summer's uh, drill campaign. So we'll be going back to look at that as well. Um, again, good copper, zinc numbers, and there's gold and silver, um, sorry, gold and silver as well. So um, lots to do there in terms of... Uh, of drilling. I think, as I said, we'll do about 80,000 meters of drilling this year. Um, and we're probably about, we've probably got about 30,000 or so done at this point. So our drilling should be complete uh, for the year. We'll probably be through our drilling budget by mid November. Um, and then from that, at that point, we'll determine if the timing is right to do a resource estimate for the project. So that's essentially uh, Amex in a nutshell. Uh, we were well financed. We raised 50 million last January. Um, we spent 25 or so last year. We'll spend another 25 in the ground this year. Thank you. Yeah, anybody has any questions? No? Okay, thank you so much. Thanks.